You might have been reading a lot lately about ESG, environmental, social, and governance related to investing. Uh, this ESG has really been taking uh, the investment world by storm. This year alone, there's over, over 40 new exchange traded funds that are out, uh, all focused on ESG investing. Um, you know, in a recent survey, 80% uh, of advisors are saying that clients are asking them for ESG uh, investments inside their portfolios, while only about 32% of advisors are implementing these on their own without clients asking. So obviously there's been a lot of things politically that have motivated uh, the ESG movement uh, within companies focused on minorities and board seats, uh, focused on the company's carbon uh, footprint and how they conduct their business. And all those things are very important, uh, I think as, as a country, as we move forward uh, in, in, in uh, hopefully unity, right? But at the same time, what difference are you really making by buying ESG funds? And this is where, from the very beginning of the ESG movement and investing, um, I, I look at everything very uh, with a skeptical eye. Uh, first of all, uh, when you buy an ESG fund, you're doing nothing to actually uh, help the environment. You're doing nothing to actually help any particular board seats of a company. You're really not making a difference at all. Uh, but what you are making a difference on is, is Wall Street and their pay. For example, uh, ESGU is a BlackRock fund that focuses on large cap funds here in the U.S. So it'd be very similar to the S&P 500. It has a little over 300 holdings. The S&P 500 has 500 holdings. So it's screening out roughly 200 companies that, that don't make the list for whatever reason. What I find interesting, though, is that the S&P 500 uh, and ESGU this year are performing neck and neck. The only difference in performance it has really to do with the fee difference. And that fee difference, uh, ESGU is, 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 uh, uh, has a cost of 0.15%, where IVV has a uh, cost of 0.03%. So by convincing you that you're making a difference in investing in ESG, BlackRock itself is actually generating $29 million more in revenue off this one fund, because we can assume that if you're an ESGU, uh, you probably would be investing in the S&P 500 otherwise, because the funds look very similar. The, the MSCI ESG ranking, which there's a lot of ranking systems out there, MSCI seems to be used the most, ranks both funds nearly identical. ESGU and IVV have the almost identical uh, ESG rating for the fund itself. So you're really not making much of a difference except uh, in the fact that you're adding $29 million in revenue out of your pocket uh, to uh, a big Wall Street company. That's something that you have to think about because if you really wanna make a difference in the environment, if you really wanna make a difference in how boards are structured, um, it's not gonna be through your portfolio. It's gonna, it's gonna be through things you do personally or motivate others to do personally uh, with the environment. It's, it's maybe how you vote. Um, it's, it's maybe um, uh, buy, where you buy your products. Do you buy, a, do you buy products from companies that you support uh, uh, in regards to their board structure? Um, obviously, if you stop buying for those products of the companies that you dislike, then the chances are that they would make a change. Uh, but buying stock, remember, you're not buying it directly from the company. It's not a IPO. Um, so you're exchanging hands with other shareholders. So it doesn't really affect the company a whole lot uh, by, by doing that. And then to the advisors that watch our channel here, um, for those that are fiduciaries, I would say that you'd be very careful going into ESG world because you know clients ask for a lot of things. Clients ask for things because they see it in the news or their friends are doing it. But as fiduciaries, we have to make sure that's really in their best interest to be doing that. I have a hard time uh, convincing myself that uh, ESG investing is in the best interest of anybody other than the companies that sell the funds. So if you're gonna pay uh, five times for a fund with similar performance, with the same holdings, the same top 10, top 25 core holdings, only because it has an ESG label, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. It's our duty as fiduciaries to let our clients know what is in their best interest and why they should stay away from marketing schemes from Wall Street. It's no different in ESG than it was with 
low vol funds or inverse related funds, all the things that came out looking great on paper, but in the end didn't perform the way they were supposed to. So when you think about investing in ESG, I think you have to look at yourself. You have to look at your lifestyle and what you're doing and things you can do differently contribute to the environment or social injustice or any of those matters. But I don't think it belongs in your portfolio. Now, obviously, if you're buying individual stocks, this might sway which individual stocks you buy. At our firm, we buy low cost core index funds, all of which have very strong ESG ratings. Why? Because the entire world is moving to these standards. So if the S&P 500 is moving to a high ESG standard, it, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to buy a fund that just has an ESG label on it. So be careful, keep money in your own pocket. Don't let Wall Street be pulling that out because you feel like you're making a difference. The reality is you're not making a difference by being, buying an ESG fund. Who's making the difference is Wall Street. At, in the tune of one fund, $29 million more in revenue versus having just a, invested inside the S&P 500. Remember, keep your costs low, focus long-term, and maintain a diversified portfolio. Those are the keys to investing. What you decide to do socially can be separate from all that.